Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever FlossTube video and my first video on this channel. Hi, my name is Marika. I live in Stockholm, Sweden with my boyfriend and our two cats. And I'm Little Miss Crafty. <laughs> Little Miss Craft a lot. Yes, M Little Miss Craft a lot. That is me. I always need to have something in my hands, something to do, whether it be stitching or knitting or crocheting. I also love like any kind of sewing and textile crafts. And I'm also like card making and paper crafts and all of those things too. So I do a lot of crafts. This channel though, it's gonna be kind of targeted to mostly cross stitch, but also some knitting and some crocheting and maybe some quilting. Uh, I do want to quilt do quilts of some of my cross stitch projects so it kind of ties in today's video however is gonna be just cross stitching just cross stitching that's gonna be super fun you might might recognize me i've been on the internet uh, on youtube since 2012 i do card making videos under craft a bit creations um, having a hiatus at the moment from there and I also been doing vlogging I did daily vlogging since from 2014 and that was how I kind of found out all about floss tube and everything I was doing a lot of videos daily vlogs and a lot of cross stitching because that was all I did because I wasn't sick clean. Right now I'm working as a senior software developer and tech lead at a live shopping company here in Sweden and um, when I'm not working I at the moment mostly cross stitch. So uh, I'm going to have a little agenda here on the side. Uh, it's just going to pop up now, but you can also see it in the description down below. Um, and also the little bar that goes across at the bottom should be cut up into pieces because of that little thing. Today it's just going to be cross stitching. So first I'm going to show you my finishes. And these are the finishes that I had for the past like two months because that is how long it has taken me to actually get in front of the camera. And uh, I'm also going to show you some work in progress, my latest new start. And then you also going to see some hauls that I did this past month. I live in Sweden and that means that it usually takes a week to two weeks for things to arrive here if they come from Europe and then they can maybe can take a, a couple more weeks from the US depending. So things don't always come, come very fast so I need to have a lot of stash on hand. Also I do have a small Etsy shop called the Craft a Bit Shop that I had since 2015 where I sell embroidery needles and some dyed fabric and some undyed fabrics and a few other nicks and knacks. So they will also be linked in the description down below. Let's get started with my finishes. So the first finish that I've had for this year is also something I started this year. I started in January and that is the feeding frenzy by dimension i really like dimension kits and these were actually the kits that got me back into cross stitching this time around so let's see i have my my things rolled and not very often i have them fully finishes i that is something i'm working on this year i'm gonna do full finishes but here it is uh this is the feeding frenzy by dimension so you can see here it is a gorgeous piece and i found out about this specific pattern from calico whimsy and it was some years ago so probably somewhere 2014 15 16 somewhere there she was stitching on this project and i fell in love with it but i never purchased it i had so many other projects and then when I was in Florida in December of last year, I went to a Hobby Lobby and I found this project and two other dimensions. And that actually segues into my second finish and that is another dimension. This is Believe in Santa 
again a dimension project i really really love this one this is gorgeous it was so much fun to do it's a lot of backstitching it is a lot of french knots like look at this look here just so many french knots and they were so much fun to do i think that i've gotten so much better on just french knots because of this project it was so much fun to do so yay those are the things that i actually started and finished this year do have a, a couple more my third finish of this year was something that i started probably two years ago something like that no i started last year because i did actually start some projects last year and then i got bored and yeah put it back into the cupboard but this is the coffee village by soda stamps so this pattern and that one is done on uh, the other two are dimension kits so they are done on the fabric that came in the kit but this is done on i think 32 count linen i think it is 32 count it can be yeah it's probably 32 count linen so that is where we start and then we just move slowly over and that is the end and this is gorgeous i want to finish this as a uh, like a little quilted hang hanging i'm gonna do that with the i believe it's santa too so those two i do have a plan for the fully finish i just need to have time to sit down and sew so yes by the way i have a little kitty down here um so she's super adorable but she's also a little bit in the way so i'm sorry about that and then we have my absolute latest finish which i finished this morning uh as recording this morning um and that is this one that is welcome autumn uh, by uh, primrose cottages stitches yes and this one uh, i had as a pdf and uh, i was joining the welcome autumn sal with nicole uh, spore and like when she showed it i was first of all i never had heard about primrose cottage stitching floss tube really helps you find new designers that you really really love well so i am kind of evolving as a person at the moment um i always evolve as a person but i'm, I'm finding new projects new uh designers and, and so on but primrose primrose cottages stitches uh, i had never heard about before and i really really like their designs and when i saw this wholesale and that i could get the pattern as a pdf i just had to to join so uh this is stitched in dmc's called for called for dmc's and 16 count ida so it's a teeny tiny one and this is a 13 by 18 piece just plain white ida and i have a couple more primrose cottage patterns that i purchased so i decided to just continue on this one because then i can actually have them in my frame i stitch in eight inch q snaps i stitch everything in eight inch q snaps that might change now that i picked up something i'm going to talk about in the haul but these are the one i prefer so i need kind of fabrics that fit into this to be able to stitch i stitch in hand for years before this but i, I kind of like my my frames and i can stitch two-handed but yeah that was all of my my finishes and hopefully i have a fully finished piece when i come back in two weeks time but first we're not leaving here because i have so many other things to show you for example my works in progress so that is next my whips for my whips 
uh, I'm gonna go from the ones that are in the cupboard to the ones I'm actually working on now. I don't have a lot of whips. Uh, I know I've seen all of these beautiful whips parades. However, I kind of like finishing things. It's it's a thing. Uh, some some of us actually like finishing things. So I do have a couple of work in progress due at the same time because um, otherwise I wouldn't have any finishes because I also love full covered stitches. So uh, the one I have to show you first is Heaven and Earth Sloth. I have previously stitched Wrath and Envy and this is the third of the these ladies that I'm stitching and this is how far I've come. So I do stitch them. This is the regular uh, chart and it is on 25 count Lugana two over one because I really like how stiff the fabric becomes and how good coverage. So yeah, this is the one. I'm gonna see if I can see. Like this. Can you see? Da -da 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 -da. So yeah, that is how far I come on that one. Uh, I do love it. However, this is the one I burned out on. So I haven't stitched it for two years now I think almost one and a half at least uh, after I took my break and it's still gonna be in the cupboard because um, I just don't want to stitch on it right now I just don't want to stitch on it so yeah that is in my cupboard I do have another full covered stitch and that one I actually have done a bunch of progress now in July so in the beginning of July I picked this out um, I accidentally bought the large format from Artisy, so uh, I think I stitched like three or four, three or three or four pages on this, and that is Christmas House by Artisy, and it is also stitched two over one on twenty-five count Lugana. I'm gonna have to lean back with this one. Um, this is a little bit wider than the other one, but it's also going to be shorter. But yeah, so I started with the first row pages. I still have a little bit over here. But yeah, uh, I really like the progress. and But decided that it is time for fall and fall stitching. Um, so I t taking a break from that again after doing those three to four pages. And I'm going to stitch a bunch of small little pieces because I have so many brains. <laughs> You're gonna hear about it when we get to the whole section. However, I do have two more works in progress. The first one uh, of, of those is this one. This is Under the Sea by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. So yeah, this is it. I am stitching this on a hand dyed that I did. 2015, I started dyeing fabrics uh, selling like professionally dyeing fabrics however after dyeing up all my first I, I actually got a second order in I had dyed quite a lot of yarn or fabric uh, and then my back broke I still have a lot of back issues sadly but um, this one is something that never get got up into the store I only did like five or six of these it was like I was trying to get to a very specific color and so I do have these little pieces that I kind of go through now so this is yeah this is stitch on my hand dyed but it is a uh, 32 count linen by the way I'm not a super fan of linen I don't like stitching on linen but yeah there we go that is Under the Sea, Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, really, really like this. This this was like continuation after I started doing my dimension project. And then I saw this on Facebook because I followed them there. I saw, saw that this was coming out. I'm like, yeah, I need to get, I need to grab that one. So I did. For the last project, I'm gonna put up like an image here because I don't have a physical pattern. I very rarely have physical patterns. I usually buy things from PDFs, 
but this is actually from the world of cross stitching magazine this august so august uh, 2022 issue i picked it up digitally in their app and i am doing a little um fall house this is gonna be a barn a little barn with little pumpkins and this is the roof piece so these are all like filled in these are going to be filled in with the second color so it is actually striped a striped roof there we go do this maybe you can see um and uh it is stitched on i think it's 14 counts but i don't know this says pc20 in the corner it says plastic canvas white Th this is not white this is kind of see-through um i think i picked these up at like michael's or maybe joanne's when i was visiting a couple of years ago i had this in my cupboard for like so long <laughs> Uh, they've been like pushed in to my actually in my bookcase and I, I've been wanting to do 3d projects and this is what is going to be the uh, the project from that magazine and there's actually two patterns it has that little like harvest barn and then it has a spooky kind of Halloween thing and I think I'm going to do two both but I don't know if I'm going to do both after each other i think i'm going to do the barn first build that jump to a fabric stitch and then go back and do the halloween i'm super sorry about the lighting let's see if i can fix it. a little bit better we're having kind of the sun is going in and out of the clouds so it's a little bit hard to get the lighting perfect here but hopefully this will work that was my last work in progress and that was also actually my latest start i started this this morning i actually got a few a, a bunch of stitches in on this i've been out with christopher and a friend of ours uh, on a boat uh, in the archipelago here in stockholm uh, or outside of stockholm and it was super nice we were out for hours and when we had like went from from place to place and just were in the boat I was stitching and then we were out on some islands and walked around it was super nice I had a really good day today let's uh, jump in to the haul section which is going to be the last section for these videos I have a couple of hauls laying around here so let's let's start with the physical physical things my friend owns Sabico Resin in the UK. It's an Etsy store uh, in UK. I will link in the description down below. And she actually had a bunch of the Primrose Cottage stitches patterns. And I decided to pick some up. And then I also found a, another pattern. So let's, let, let's start with the Primrose that I picked up. Two of them. First, this one, Squeeze the Day. I really really love this one it's very very summery and even though summery comes to an end I really like this one I want to start decorating my uh, apartment a little bit more I'm not really good at that decorating thing but yeah I want to do that let's try it with the lighting ah you can see me again good I don't look like it goes well I look like it goes but I'm sweet I'm I'm blonde that's just how it is and i do have like these automatic sunglasses so they are a little bit colored because of the amount of light but hey that's how it is the second pattern that i picked up from her is the sweet summer which is another of these little pillows also by uh primrose cottage stitches don't know if I'm gonna make them to pillows but that's those and then I just decided like I need some Christmas stitches and I found these tiny modernist cross stitch which again it's, I never heard about her or, or, or that them them so uh, I really really uh, like them so these 
these are super super cute um, it is um, these are actually stitched on touch of grey it's called the winter signs we'll see if I need to pick up some fabric because yeah mm hmm those were those were the physical patterns that I picked up I do have picked up a bunch of things from Etsy also when it comes to but no I have one more thing one more thing you know almost forgot it there is coming another stitch along for frosted pumpkin stitchery and they are gonna do snow globe ornaments and I decided to actually go with the thread pack uh, because it has paper. It has the, the paper for it. And um, I kind of want to start buying the kits from, from them because uh, I want to use the fabric that that comes with. But um, I have so many DMC. But okay, I got some more DMC. So I got the little package, needles, uh, a little sticker and then the patterns uh, perforated paper that's the word per perforated paper that's a hard word to say uh, but yeah for these uh, little um, ornaments so it's snow ornaments and it starts in a couple of days five days maybe when I record this so yeah that's gonna be fun um, and that is the last a physical like cross stitch thing I did pick up another thing which arrived this weekend I it's crazy but I picked it up yesterday and that is this is the only part of it it's a low low rate stand so it is this metal stand very very simple uh, basically it has a foot um, and then it has like a just metal bar uh, that you put into the foot and put it down there and then on that bar you put a holder and this is the corner holder so you can basically uh, kind of put your your frame uh, and the corner is perfect for uh, the Q-snaps and then you have like the side ones that you have for your um, any scroll frames I don't have any scroll frames yet I also picked up on top of the whole whole stand I picked up this uh, so and that has been really really good uh, there's a few things the way I'm sitting here this is actually my my stitch spot it is uh, my corner of the sofa that I'm recording in um, the only place to put it is on my left side however I'm right-handed and I stitch uh, with my usually with my right hand under and my left hand on top I do double handed stitching and with this on my left side I kind of have a hard time to get into the top corner uh, that is the only negative thing I found so yet yeah, really really liking to having it hold, held in the in the stand I only used it for a day and then I finished my project but really like it because I can sit differently and um, it actually helps with my back pain. So yay for that one. So the last thing, the last few uh, prod things that I bought, which I bought a couple, just a couple of days ago. Yeah, two days ago. So I have bought the pattern, kitted up the project, finished the project <laughs> in two days. That's good. That's good. So um, the things I have. Let's get the. Let's get. Let's get some some lighting here. Not that dark, anyhow. Um, a little bit better. But okay. The things I did. I actually went in to the Prim Rose Cottage uh, Etsy store and I picked up a bunch of PDFs. So I'm gonna put the images here. So the first one was the Welcome Autumn that I already talked about because I already finished it. Uh, the second one is a Trick or Treat, the Lindsay stamp series. So it's a very very small one. I need to figure out what I want to have for fabric for that one. But yeah, it is so nice. I. I am a seasoned stitcher. I love 
fall because I love these like rich oranges and rich browns. I love Halloween. Halloween is it's just wonderful. And then I love Christmas. So that is mostly what I stitch. I do other stitches too, but those is the mostly what I stitch. The third, the third one is called um, Pumpkin Patch, and you can see it here. Really, really like it. I also seen a couple of other ones that I need to pick up or want to pick up, so we'll see if that will happen. The last one is called All Hallows Eve, and that is this one. Again, I'm finding that I need to maybe pick up some neutral fabrics, maybe some gray fabrics. I don't know. Like, I dyed all my own fabrics. That's kind of, I never really had. The only colored fabrics that I've had is basically the one that has come with a kit. For example, like the, the Believe Santa, this is like a creamy, cream tone ivory cream has a slight yellow tint to it um, and then I also have dyed a lot of fabrics when I still dyed fabrics and I don't know if I want to pick up my supplies and dye some fabrics or if I just want to go out and buy it but I have a lot of undyed fabrics in my stash I have a lot that I can use. Not only do I have a lot in my private stash, but I can also purchase my own Etsy store if that is a thing. Um, because I do have a lot of undyed fabrics because I had to stop dyeing. <laughs> so yeah, I have have a, a lot to to use, but I still want those like neutrals. Lamb's wool was one color, like um, more oat, oat tones, those kind of tones. But we'll see. We'll see what will happen in the next couple of weeks. But that was all that I had this time around. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, it helps me know that you are interested in what I'm saying. What is your favorite brand at the moment? I really, really need to find more uh, patterns. I'm not very much into samplers, it's not really my thing. I think it's because of what, what I stitched when I was younger, because that was one of the kind of traditional Scandinavian patterns. And I just want everything cute, cuddly and colorful. Those are my favorite things, cute, cuddly and colorful. So do you have any, um, any ideas of, of more brands that I should look into now that I'm all back and stitching all the stuff, all the stuff, all the stuff. It was a really nice time. I had a really nice time talking to you. I'm really sorry about the light coming in and out. Can't really do anything about the weather. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you most likely in two weeks time. I have an, a couple of other videos I want to record, but we'll see time-wise. I do try to work full-time, so I don't have all the time, and most of the time I spend stitching. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!